Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Monkey Hero Adventures. We're right back where you left off in Corthus, doing these little fetch quests, doing these things, trying to get the uh, go-ahead to be able to go into the Stone Vigil and hopefully find Sid's Enterprise ship so we can get into Garuda's lair and beat that little primal biatch in the face. Alright, let's see what Sid has to tell us. Sid would like to furnish the infirmary with a new Alembic. We'll see. Might I have a word with you, monkey? It concerns the Chirurgeons. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient Alembics for their needs. You see, so I use some of their broken equipment to craft the more advanced Alembic. Both of this gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories. Since working on my hands kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the devices are cores of three ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter the properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. Alright, so I'll go kill some ice sprites then. And I know we are getting very close. As a matter of fact, there's a pretty good chance, depending on how many quests there are in between this and the actual dungeon themselves, uh, that we will actually be able to hit 45 right as we enter the dungeon, or definitely by the time we exit the dungeon. Um, and then we might actually go ahead and do our 40 and 45 ninja quests, uh, even before we fight Garuda. You know, uh, that could be a thing. So we'll have to kind of play that by ear. I do like staying on top of the quest because you get the... Uh, well, first of all, it's a, it's a good little story. I like the ninja stories good. Um, and also, you know, you keep on top of all your extra skills. Uh, right now, I will be getting no more new skills from here on. As a rogue, as you can see, all the skills I get now from now on, uh, they are all ninja skills. Um, Assassinate was 40. Shikuchi, this is a level 40 skill uh, that I do not have because this is the job skill. I believe Jin also uh, at 45. I will not get this unless I do the job. And the Kasatsu at 50 I believe also will not do unless I do the job quests. So these are very important uh, and you want to stay with them. Uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, um, all of these you get and then I will not get this unless I do the level 60 quest. And then after that, the uh, job quests are, 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 there's only one, I think at 80, and then there is no more after that point. So anyway, all right, continue on. Was that three? That was two, we need one more. All right, Mr. Ice Sprite, meet Mr. Lightning. So yeah, I didn't. I don't want to go then stop and go to the 40. I mean, I could weave them into the story. The issue is, is where we're at in the story again, right here. There's no eighth right, and I don't want to have to come all the way back here and then all the way back over there. It's easier to just tag two or three of them together, the 40 and the 45. The 50 will do all by itself, because again, it's it's long. And maybe we will. We'll do a little story and the 50 all together, um, or we'll do the we'll tag it with some other stuff. But yeah. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. There you go. What an amazing device! But is it truly an Olympic, sir? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine. While certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, it is as effective as he claims. It will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I, I wonder where the, the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts, wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have yet interfered 
with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost succumbed to the temptation proffered by these, these unbelievers. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francil's trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Before we can persuade Lord Drillamont to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Gulaim that we are not his enemy. But just how we might do it go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of White Rim Front. front. Share your findings with Alphano in the square. I'm sure he'll formulate a strategy from there. Sure. Um, somebody talk to me about the piece of shit that I hate. His name is Grimey, and I hate him. What do you know about him? Inquisitor Gulaim? Yes, of course. I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to White Brim Front, several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to that night's watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness pit black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed, where I had lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Gulaim rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, sir. I hope to one day repay his kindness. Inquisitor Gulaim, I am the foggiest who you speak, unbeliever. Aye, we have learned of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Gotcha. Patrick, what's up, man? Under Inquisitor Gulaim's watchful gaze, unprecedented number of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep. So great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly righteous man to protect us. The Holy See has decreed that Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Okie dokie. Alphano, what you got, man? <sighs> In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that reminds us to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me that you've been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I'm beginning to suspect that he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us closely review the testimonials obtained, Monkey. Mayhap they provide insight into this Inquisitor Gulaim's motivations. Something troubles me about that wounded knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate, yes? But the main road leads to the southwestern gate. 
Since we arrived in White Room Front, I've seen no travelers arrive by the Eastern Gate. Moreover, he say he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from the north of the Eastern Gate, not the south. But it cannot be so. That way lies naught but a deep chasm. Assuming Sir Jolay is not misremembering, the Inquisitor's behaviors that night make absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed a light on this mystery. Let's go. Alva knows a genioso. And there we go. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Hmm. Given the contents of this encyclical, I believe you had just made the acquaintance of the real Inspector Galaim. Galaim. Newly coming to court this and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity. For even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appointment? Still, while this is in controvertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity or why he would decide to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Monkey, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Since Lord Drillamon has already been turned against us, I fear that this insult alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might per se to man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say the Lord listens and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide, te provide testimony that supports our claim, yes, mayhap this is the only way left to us. Confront Sir Jolo, Jolo with the evidence you discovered and see if he helps him to recall the truth of what happened that night. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such horrifying revelation. Nonetheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, you've returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter? Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue, a, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that that is all a lie. If you are so certain that, that your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Prunilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. 
but I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Okay. I mean, that's kind of fair. You, I, I do not believe I know you, sir. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Uh, bullshit? I call bullshit. You know, don't you? Fury, take me. I pray this day would come. When Sir Jola gave chase, I cl followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Dravanian abominations lashed out at him. Nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came out of the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about me, about my family. Secrets I never told another. He said that if I kept his confidence, Sir Jolay would and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robe marked him an inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together, we carried Sir Jolay to the infirmary, and on his first night in Whitebrim Font, Inquisitor Gulaim was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing seized while in possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillamont, wanted to put an end to the madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing, until Lord Francil was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of Whitebrim Front, so I took several from the chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks, as I hoped they would be discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Halionard, thus exonerating Lord Francil and casting doubt on the other recent trials. That is the entire truth, I swear. Colone, forgive me for not acting sooner. Okity dokity. has arrived. I can eat and play. I mean, it's a good hiding place, dude. You ain't gonna find nothing in the snow. Unless you knew where it was. Snow mounds everywhere. Got all my stuff. I got my evidence. Drillmont, you gotta believe me now. I mean, not like that other guy didn't already look shady as a motherfucker, but whatever. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you access, three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. Well, maybe you will. Look at this. There had better be a very good explanation why you're carrying these rosaries. Or where did you find this papal encyclical? Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale. For this evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends, Monkey. And for that, I am deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost. But first, I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. Oh, sir. 
and nothing would make me happier. Let's go. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul, whom he has branded a heretic. If we hurry, there may be time to prevent another further tragedy. Lend me your strength, monkey. Together we will put an end to this imposter's heresy once and for all. Yeah, we will. He was in a snow cloak? Okay. Oh, shoot. Going up the wrong way. No one else stone vigil way. Haha, <laughs> my bad. Let's fix this. Solo instance time. Let's go. Good to have you with us, sir. When Lord Drillamon arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventuality? Oh, I'm hoping for it. You needn't tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Helone's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that's holy, I swear to you. I have never questioned the teachings of Helone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My Lord Drillamont, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I name thee heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Gilaim, and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ah, grave allegations indeed. But you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drillamont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? Will your hands, you whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade, you speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? Ha! <laughs> all are complicit in these crimes, and all lot live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me. Deafened by dogma as you are, if you desire retribution, Lord Drillamont, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian steel fares against Dravanian fang and claw. Oh, let me show you how it fares.
my glamour's dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, or they will be your last. <coughs> ha. You may not recall the many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been replayed with blood, and for that I am content. My, my only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, white brim front shall fall. Defiant to the last, leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Monkey, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in the guardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is the first time that you were... Reunited with your airship. It's past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at White Brim Front and bring your associates. I mean, the thing is, you're both religious zealots. You hate dragons, and they are only about dragons, and I don't like either side. And although, honestly, I sympathize more with probably the dragon side, um, that dude was a piece of shit. Um, so, fuck him, and I'm glad he's dead. Like, I get the whole, you know, infiltrating and using their own, like, religious dogma bullshit against them and kill, but killing innocent people with it. Like, no, fuck you. I'll kill him ten more times over if I could. Muggy Hero ain't got time to play that bullshit. You gotta save the world. Where have you been, monkey? Hmm. The false inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes, well. His was a tale always to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in a long line of unfortunate impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can elaborate once we have secured the Enterprise. Celebrate, I think said. So. Anyway. In pursuit of the past... As I am sure you will agree, it is past time we entered Stone Vigil. Pay Lord Drillman, uh, Drillmont a visit and remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will follow anon. I wonder who's going to go into Stone Vigil with me because uh, all my Scion friends are dead. I mean, the, like the Scion Conjurer and all that shit. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as the Inquisitor Ghislaine would still be among us. Feel free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand. You must understand, it seemed too much to hope for the signs of the Seventh Dawn still lived. To say nothing of Master Garland. Never have I been happier to be proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further ob objections, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter the stone vigil to receive our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It is the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Javanians that now hold the ruin? 
In part, yes, I should explain that shortly after you arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the Calamity. As far as we've been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say. Nor can I give you assurances that it hasn't been removed in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin has served as a Dravanian foothold in Corthus, from which we had struck out, struck out at us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have yet been able to drive them out, and I cannot say with the, that when that situation will change, or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Drillamont, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without Ishgardian aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Natalian of your impending visit. May Haloni guide your, you scions. Yeah, look, we don't need your help. We're going to go in there. We're going to get our ship. We're going to get out. And you and your dragons going to have your little fucking war. We don't give a shit, okay? Y'all do your shit. Y'all can squabble all you want. I just want our ship, and then we're getting out of there. And while we're in there, and the dragons want to give us any shit, we'll fuck them up. You know, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, that'd be how it is. All right, Nathan Lane. He said we could go in. Hail, monkey. Lord Drillamon has apprised me of the situation. You may enter Stone Vigil whenever you will. Let's go. Taking our team here into Stone Vigil. Oh, look. I guess these guys somehow exist, uh, survived. And they're level 41 and they still don't have jobs yet? Like, how? That's what we're hoping for. So we're hoping for DPS drops so I can get some good gear. And we're hoping for the knives, because these are one of the coolest looking dagger sets, in my opinion, in the whole game. And I would love to be able to get these daggers. I mean, you know, of like non-glowy, awesome, you know, those kind of crafted stuff. And just the regular, like, dungeon drop daggers. These look amazing once I come here, so... We can hope. Oh, I do have, uh... So what are they gonna do? They're still doing the fire, thunder, blizzard thing. Alright, I do have AoE now. I could make them pull big and AoE down. I don't know if that's... smart or not, honestly. We're going to find out, though. Come get these dudes.
Let's go DPS. Oh my god, I got him right off the bat. Let's go. Look at these things. Let's go. Look at these knives, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Yes. All right. You know what? I don't usually come up here. Wait, is there? Yeah, the chest is up there. Hold on. Will these guys actually come over here? Fuck with me. Yep, they will. All right. I don't usually do the extra pull, but I wanted to see if I could get. Oh, those for me too? Oh my god, let's go. Oh, I can't because I'm in battle. That's fine. Let's kill these guys. Vigil boots weren't a thing either back in the day. I mean, either were like arm boots and shit, so this is like a new set of gear. So I kind of want to see what it looks like, but I've already got two pieces. Let's go. Getting stronger, boys. And girls. And anybody else. Oh, they changed this one too?
No more cannon firing on this one. The pants, look at this. But the hands, the pants, and the legs, and the weapon already. We just got, we are just head and body away. Oh, baby, let's go. We are getting kitted out right before. I like it. Come on, we can do more than just that. Let's go. Already got got another pair of hands. All right, whatever. There we go. That was really quick with this group now that we have I have an AoE.
There's a ship. Look, it's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. The dragon is not our concern. We've come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Monkey, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we're ready to depart. Can you manage that? Sure. That settles it then, shall we, Sid? As you command. So, you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting, most interesting. And are you aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests? A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers, the Ixil are nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would underestimate the bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle shall at least make for an entertaining spectacle. Assuming, of course, you live that long. Oh, he woke the dragon. He's not happy. Alphado, the dragon! Confound it all! Oh, look at those daggers! Let's see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. Dude, look at these daggers. Do you even know who I am?
Oh, they don't leave uh, frost on the ground anymore. That's a new mechanic, too. They used to leave uh, puddles of frost. Oh. Now that did not register, and I just lo lost that. I'm gonna be really mad. Did I lose that limit break, and it didn't register? If I knew he was gonna jump again, I definitely would have done it then, because I probably could have gotten it too. You gotta be shitting me. I mistimed it by what? Half a second? Jesus. Oh, whatever, he's dead now. Mmm, those daggers are sweet looking. Paladin? Oh, the Paladin weapon is actually really awesome from here, too. But, I mean, we're not playing Paladin, so it doesn't matter, but it's pretty awesome. Alright, so, we didn't get the hat, we didn't get the chest. We might look and see what kind of hat and chest we can get. These are probably need to be, yeah, screw it. Oh man, yeah, look at that though. Three pieces. Monkey, monkey, are you all right? Speak to me. Twelve, be praised. I fear the beast had injured you. I see now why others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that etheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me, Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. What do you say, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a ple pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than standing here. Tis a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though, I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye. It is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. I mean, that's fair.
This is all so familiar. I, I know this airship. If I could just... Ah, it's no use. Let's go. for more agreeable climate of the Twelves would. Yet, I cannot deny the Holy Sea has its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising. You did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seeders are granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we need, require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank and folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we were to have any hope of wrestling this benighted realm from her talons, it must be soon. Though I'm no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest, apt to turn proud tree to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I believe I can fully repair. But if the tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. Confound it. There must be a way. A way to brave the fury of the elements. The elements? But of course, that's it. We work upon the element itself. Using the power of a corrupted crystal, we could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battering. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the element aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, monkey. We speak of the manifestations of over-aspected aether that can be found throughout Eorzea. Since a calamity disrupted the land's aetheric currents, such crystals have become comparatively commonplace. Which has become a great... Which has been a cause of great woe, as they are known to warp aetheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind aspect of aether comprising Garuda's barrier into aether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. All this rests upon our ability to provide, procure a crystal with necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of uh, Lambertant. Lambertint, who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marcus met him. 
I suppose. Whether out of pity or want for more willing listener, he would talk to me for hours about the time about his etheric studies, corrupted crystals being his pet subject. It was a result of these conversations that poor Marcus was obs observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Monkey, I need you to return to Thanalan and seek out the scholar. Sid and I will set apart repairing the Enterprise in your absence. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this one, guys. We will pick up the uh, the story here in Camp Drybone next time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, again, we'll see you in the next one.